Hello and welcome to Zip Tie. Today, we got a lot of work to do, so let's jump right into it. First things first, I started my quest to save the pop-up lights. They're part of the heart and soul of this car, and honestly, I really like how they look when they're sitting around in space. Next I added tubes that will act as many things, a radiator mount, a body mount, and a splitter mount. This also came out nice, following the visual lines of the chassis. With some more tubing, this will come out really, really cool looking. In the quest to make this car as pretty as possible, I taught myself CAD. Fusion 360 is a program that is quite expensive, but with a little searching, there's a free version of it for qualified hobbyists. And somehow, we qualify. It took two long days and two long nights of struggle to figure it out. Then, on the third day, this is art. So these are all laser cut steel pieces, except that's aluminum, steel pieces that I made myself, basically. So I drew up all of these and I sent it to a company called Send Cut Send. They have a bunch of different options for materials and all that kind of good stuff. So you'll be seeing a lot more of them, but let's break down what I bought. All this stuff here is dedicated to mounting the fuel cell into the car. These are for the motor mounts. They're just little finished pieces for the top that I wanted to put in, make it look kind of fancy. This and this are both replacing the steering shafts in the middle. These are the wing mounts. And this is the wing upright, or I guess the both of them. So these will be sitting like that, and they'll get welded to a plate that I gotta add in right around here. With welder in hand, I put together all my nice little pieces, and I'm happy to report they all came out great. The fuel cell mount was designed slightly loose, that way I could fit an eighth inch piece of rubber padding in to give the fuel cell a tight butt padded fit. The steering brackets on the car were both temporary and ugly. With some more send cut send goodies, I cleaned up the look and added lightness. The motor mounts are very ugly, and rather weak. I thought I could make it better, but instead I messed it up. Twice. The hard part about CAD is getting all of your pieces to do what you want them to do. And it allows quite often for oversight and messing up what you thought you had right. So unfortunately these pieces I have made incorrectly. I need the curved radius at the top, so they will allow the motor to drop down. I did not do such a thing, unfortunately. So it is back to the drawing board on these, but it's only a little little change, and then I can get them recut out by side cut sand and have them for next episode. All right, so next up on the list, I am cutting the springs to help my suspension geometry. Now, does that make any sense to most people? No, but it makes sense to me. I'm cutting these springs so I can use a jack to get the wheel at the correct ride height, and I can make this bar sit where it wants to live, then I'll make a good little mount for it, it'll be happy. With that being said, do not attempt this at home. This is dangerous, and I will probably jump the moment the spring lets go. So that'll be cool. Uh, yeah, don't do this. Yeah, that was scary. 
Finally, the party piece. I need to build mounts for the wing. I'm using one and a quarter inch 095 steel tube for the base, which should give it a good balance of strength while maintaining a light weight. So this is my wing from Nine Lives Racing. Now this thing is a unit. This is an all aluminum element and these are in fact just wood. I have my uh, custom made uprights that should do a very good job of holding this wing in place. They may get redesigned in the future for a little bit better optical flow, but they'll be just fine for now. These will get replaced with regular um, end plates. You know, it helps give you an idea of what it's gonna look like. But additionally, and this is the big key, is I'm not even gonna use the end plates they sent me because I bought this wing as a dual element kit. What that means is there's a wing here and then there will be a second little one about there. That is good enough for 700 pounds of downforce, just from the wing alone. So this thing is a unit and it's gonna look really good on the back of that car. Yes, sir. We're in. So this is exactly what I had in mind here. It is hanging off just the perfect amount off the back. It is exactly the angle that I needed this to be at on its highest setting. This is where it's gonna be most of the time because on a dual element wing, you run the main element, this one, at zero angle of attack. That's exactly what I got it at. So that is perfect. It's a little wobbly because A, nothing's tight, nothing is fully welded in, and I also have another uh, little reinforcement I'm going to uh, put on there. But I gotta see this thing in the light. So let's flash forward to tomorrow where I roll this thing outside. So another video, another good bit of progress done. I'm very happy about the wing. I'm very happy about my fuel cell mounts. Very happy about the headlights. The flip ups are going to be saved. I, I didn't know that I would like it, the mounts as much as I do, but I do. I think in the future, I'm gonna cut off this little bit of bumper there, shorten that up, give it a little bit more stout of a look in the back without too much tube. This also needs to be, uh, reinforced from going downward because there's gonna be a lot, a lot, a lot of force on this point right here. I am really, really pleased with everything going on here, especially the headlights. Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreamed. Yesterday you said tomorrow, so just do it! Make your dreams I'm true! Just do it!